Hi everyone, I am so much welcome to today's tutorial. I still remain your most wealthy shoe making made easy to do. Odurole Mojibola. And today we are going to be continuing with the part two of our beautiful ring toe strappy lady sander. Now I need you to know that in my previous tutorial, I actually explained how to go about the insole as well as the outer sole from how to go about shaping the template to the sole. So if you have missed that part, ensure you do some catch up. Now, before we proceed today, I need you to know that what we majorly do on this channel is make shoemaking easy. And if that is what you desire, you'll want to venture into shoemaking, you're already into it, a particular aspect of it is giving you a challenge, please let me know in the comment section what aspect of it is actually giving you a challenge. Let me know the country you're watching me from. Don't also forget to like this video because when you like it, you give more people opportunity to actually see this particular video. Don't forget to subscribe. Yes, don't forget to subscribe and press the notification bell like I said. So today I'm going to be going into how to properly, you know, create the upper for this, how to properly create and um, position it perfectly well right in the insole and have a beautiful look such as what we have right here. I will be wrong. All right, we're gonna be starting here today. Don't forget we are trying to create our ring toe strappy slippers. So I'm gonna be using this pattern. I know somebody's already wondering, how did you get to this point? Now I need you to know that I actually have a weekend class a weekend shoe making class for every of my subscribers to be able to follow up on what is happening right on this channel so when you see me use some design i must have taught them how to cut the pattern in that class so permit me to actually encourage you to also join this community so that you can be able to enjoy explicit videos of what you see me produce right here now trust me the class is free but because when when we hear free everybody wants to join even those who are not interested so you gotta commit yourself to it and the commitment fee is just about three dollars three dollars on a monthly basis so if you like to see how this is being made i mean how i created this particular pattern I'm going to suggest that you be you join our community. Now, don't forget this particular one I taught them in the month of January. So even those in the February, in the in the February class that wasn't part of the January class can't have access to this particular one. But if you still want to really, really know how this is made, despite the fact that you are not part of the class, please let me know in the comment section. And then, um, of course, definitely, I will send you a link for you to be able to order either the PDF file, I mean, as an ebook, or you, or you, I will send you the course itself on how to create this particular pattern. So, I want you to know that the weekend class is for you to be able to get more of me, and that is why I made the class just three dollars on a monthly basis. So, let me know in the comment section if what you want is. Is the course on how to create this or the pattern as a pattern template ebook of course if it's an ebook i'll be sending to your email address all you need to do is to print it out in actual size setting and then it will give you exactly what i have right now what i have right here can actually work for quite a number of a number of sizes from actually size 37 to about size 41 yes it can work perfectly well for it it will work perfectly from 37 to actually 41 yes you can decide to do some little adjustments if you so which but trust me it will work for all of those sizes so now that i have actually positioned it this way i position it this way i'm actually going to be turning it over this way to actually cut the next leg don't forget you have to make sure you turn it to actually draw the next leg so after that i'm going to go ahead and pick up the side pattern there is actually a side pattern i'm going to be using that as well i'm going to be cutting that out as well this and as well as this of course it's important you also turn that over like i said the february class has already started if you would like to join please make sure it doesn't 
exit this particular week because the class is on whatsapp and as much as possible i don't want you to miss anything of course if you are going to still be joining us this particular week it means you'll be seen you'll be joining us by fridays friday and on saturday and then what we have already done in this first week well I am actually very, 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 very good tutor and I will ensure that I send them to you privately. So please don't miss out on any of my paid classes. I have courses as well for beginners and them um, as well for those in the intermediate class. Basically, if you are having any kind of challenge when it comes to your shoemaking business, just let me know in the comment section. Let me know in the comment section and tell me what country you are actually watching from. I think that's actually important. Let me know what country you are actually watching from. And then um, don't forget to follow me on facebook and on instagram at gbfm40 i actually share tips on how you can grow your shoe making business how you can market and then um, how you can upgrade your skill and make more money those are the things that we try to as much as possible work on on my facebook and instagram page so try as much as possible to follow and then um, we can actually enjoy this community more and more. You can see what my wet look sliver, my wet look leather looks like. It's actually a synthetic leather it's not a genuine leather so but it has a very good you know glossy surface that's what i'm going to be using for this particular ring toe strappy slide or you want to call it slippers fine now i need you to understand that if you are a beginner please don't trim this out what you should do is ensure you use your pattern templates to cut to to outline your design i mean to outline on your upper as well and as on your leather lining the reason is because if you cut it out you at the point of applying your contact cement adhesive on your upper you might end up smearing the surface of course as well as all of the edges too so you i would suggest that because this we are not going to be stitching we are majorly going to be using contact cement adhesive to hold the the uh, upper the main upper leather as well as the lining together that's just the basic thing there except this particular angle that was stitched just to make it lay perfectly on themselves i hope you understand that so please just make sure that you outline this on top of the upper leather as well as on the lining so what you do is apply your contact cement adhesive on the two surfaces before cutting so you cut this first you cut your main upper first go right and place it on the lining so after that then of course you can trim the two of them out ensure that you don't cut out if you're a beginner but if you are sure that with this of course i'm going to be following this particular process i am going to try as much as possible of course to apply my contact cement adhesive on the surface without smearing you know the surface of my beautiful wet look leather now you can see what this looks like this is what i'm going to be using as my contact cement as the adhesive this is what i'm using so let me get my lining and let's go to work so I'm going to be using this at least soft leather as my lining. Now, don't forget that you can actually use a genuine skin or synthetic as your lining. It depends on the grade of product you are actually producing. And then I would like to emphasize on this that when it comes to leather, whether synthetic, whether genuine, of course, we have them in different grades and in different categories. The fact that it's a synthetic leather doesn't mean it is not durable. Please let this be out of your mind. It doesn't mean it's not durable. So let's go right into this. I'm going to also duplicate this air. I'm going to duplicate this on top of this one. Then I'm going to apply gum right away. So apply your contact cement adhesive on your upper, on all of the upper. Then you go ahead to your lining and then also take your time to please apply on them all. 
like i said it's important if you are a beginner to ensure you apply it right on the upper before cutting it out so that you'll be having a a, a very neat finished as in a very neat upper then you go ahead and begin to position it when it is dry after positioning like this you go ahead and then take your time to trim all of them off and then we are going to be ready to actually position our beautiful ring to strappy slide Yippee! so if you have not liked this video please go ahead and like this video right away like it don't just look please like this video thank you so after all of the trimming this is what i have this the 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 ring toe strappies um slippers is actually very beautiful and what i find out that this you don't have to stitch you don't have to stitch if you don't want to stitch yes those parts that was actually stitched you can decide to use a shoe glue to hold it down and trust me it will hold it well it will hold it well even if you don't want to stitch it it will hold it well that is one number two you can decide to unstitch that particular part you can decide to unstitch that particular part using fake to demarcate where your needle should go into in short your long hand sewing needle will do that for you perfectly well in case you don't know how to use your long needle and your fake to actually do your stitches I want you to look at this particular video right on top of this particular screen right now. Click it and go ahead and watch how you can use your hand sewing needle to actually stitch with fake guiding you on your stitch length. So let's go into basically lasting this. Of course, we have to position it. Then we go ahead and last now if you don't understand how we came about our insole as well as our outer sole i need you to go ahead and check the first part of this video i actually explained explicitly how i came about the template as well as all of these that i have right here so if you meet miss part one try and check and look at the thumbnail right in front of you here this was the first part of this video so i didn't just came from nowhere to start the video we already have a first part so let's go right into this now you should know by now if you have been watching my channel now if you're watching this channel for the first time i need you to subscribe yes do that for me and don't just subscribe press the notification bell you know what i have find out when you press the, not uh, the notification bell you get notified each time i publish a video and you will not be missing any part of my tutorials and definitely don't forget to like when you like it i'm sure you are watching me for the first time probably because somebody liked this video that's why you were youtube was able to actually you know recommend it for you to do to actually watch so please like it so that youtube can recommend it for other people who need such knowledge like what we are sharing right here so what are we going to do those who are already here knows our measurement is 5 by 3.5 centimeter so what do i mean measure your 5 by 3.5 centimeter this is 5 and this will be 3.5 so pick your ruler this is 5 just try to mark it down there ensure that this side is 3.5 ensure that is 3.5 if you look at this you find out that it's actually about four this is where i actually mark initially and then um, it's not up to four definitely but we are going to actually be picking that part the reason is because by the time i grind these edges of course it will have reduced a bit and it will still return to that particular 3.5 so permit me to just move it that way so i'm still going to use that side it looks like 3.7 you understand but after grinding if you are actually wrapping it please ensure you use 3.5 it's very fine for adult um, sizes for children's sizes you can measure this to be 3.5 and this one to be 2.5 so ordinarily whatever measurements you want to use i've had people ask me what about men do i use the same thing for men yes it works perfectly for men if you are going to use anything longer than that longer than five here you must ensure you had it had that particular extra to your length 
or else the feet of the man will be showing outside. So if you are using 6.6 cm on this side, make sure you increase the length because the lower it comes, the, the, the smaller the length of the insole or of the sole itself at the end of the day, you understand? So if your initial intention is to actually create this for size 39, for example, don't make the mistake of increasing whatever position it will be much more than five centimeter here. If you do that, at the end of the day, the person's foot will be outside the heel part will definitely be outside the sole. As if the person does not mind, some people will tell you, why will you create something that is undersized for me? So I need you to pay attention to that. So from what I have here, this is going to be my position right now. What do I do? I'm going to punch. Now you can decide to use this kind of punch to actually punch it. If you don't have... Um, this particular one, if you don't have this, you can actually use this. This is actually a round, a round shape punch, and then it comes in different sizes. This is actually three millimeter in diameter. So I'm going to just go ahead and punch. Now that I have punched, don't forget that this is actually here. This is going to be going inside like this. This is the position for the left leg i think this is the right leg so we are going to be using this one for the for this particular leg so it goes in this way you can see what i have right here so now that i have actually positioned i have punched this what am i going to do please never place downward i was telling you the other time the more you go downward the shorter the available length for the person's feet to actually occupy so please pay attention to that never put it downwards when you measure five centimeters on this side place whatever you want to insert right on top of it never below it never below it except you reduce it to one centimeter and i find that that if don't even bother reducing just use your five centimeter and place it on top please don't do anything harder than that my suggestion though please let me know if you have a contrary opinion to this i believe we all learn every day so permit me to to learn learning does not used to end so from what i have right here the next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to go ahead and open it up using a utility knife. So here is my utility knife. Please cut gently. Cut gently. Make sure your utility knife doesn't come out too much so that it doesn't exceed where you are supposed to actually open. Let's insert this. This is just to show us like a guide to how you can actually position this before I call it a day for today's class. Now you can see what I have already. Of course, this is going to be going in right here. Now it doesn't necessarily have to be at the same point. You can decide to adjust it a little bit downwards. You understand? If you want to place it at the same spot, fine. If you want to put it downward, it's fine. But I'm going to suggest you just place it downward. You can see the way I inserted that. So let me get my shoulders while we insert and go ahead. So with what we have right here, we are just going to try to adjust all of these as well as the lower parts now initially i told us that this is not going to be at the same spot now if you if you want it to really lay perfectly well if you want it to lay perfect well, perfectly well like this you understand it's also expedient you can see that it's already bent already so we are just going to punch that part a little bit downward. Make sure this is about 1.2 centimeter away from this edge. Averagely, it should be one centimeter if you wrap. But since you didn't wrap, you are still going to grind. So you have to be careful so that it's not too close to what you are opening. That is very important. So with what we have here, place it on top of it as usual come right here and then do the same thing of course i will open just like i opened i'm going to open this just like i opened this other one make sure you don't 
opening straight. This side is curved. Ensure that you make it curve. Please do that. If you have to use, if you have to use the other sole or your template to make it curve, place it on it this way. Just place it on that part. Place it on that part and try to just mark it like that. So by the time you mark it, you just follow that mark. Now, I know the next thing is probably where will this part, where will this fit into? This is what I'm going to suggest to you. Your shoe last can be a guide to where this will be. I'm going to suggest you make use of this particular edge. Now, you by now I have a video that actually explains different parts of your shoulders so i need you to definitely check that hat we have to check it out we have what we call joint lines and then um, this particular edge if you look at this you'll find out that it's bulging out at one point or the other it's easier for me to 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 show you that you can see that a particular part of it is actually touching um the ruler not all parts you understand that part touching it can serve as a guide for you to actually know where to actually place this particular one that is one way you can know that another way you can actually know where to also place it is by using your foot you may have to put your foot into it just to be able to check the most appropriate place it can be ensuring that it does not go above your smallest toe it should definitely be under your smallest toe that is another option Another option you have is if you're going to be using your hand. Yes, if you're going to be using your hand, your fingers, place your fingers appropriately this way. As you can see, then make use of, don't make use of this particular part. Use a little bit lower. It indicates that this particular position will be the position of your toe. So let it come down a bit from this particular one so that it will be under at the, as an after that smallest toe. It will not be on top of it because by the time it's on top, it can be, you know, the smallest toe can be coming off it. So please just let your hand come, your, at least this last your finger, this side, let it come down. Those are the three options you can actually use to actually position this cuff part of this particular design. So let's continue right into that let's continue so for me you can see what i have here i'm just going to place it here you understand and i'm going to come down here and position this as long as you have act because it's important for you to actually do all of this before you hold it together at this point or else it will give you a lot of work so make sure you do that first of all position all of this before you hold this side down you can see this is bulging out so it means there's something that has to still be done yes it means okay i pull this hop as in here now inside too much you can see that it's laying flat now you understand what i'm saying so please ensure you do it that way so now since i've gotten a position right here i am actually going to punch that side punch it place as usual and open so now that i've already inserted this inserted this side as well you can see i have um a good position in here so i can pick this side as well as pick this side please ensure when you are picking it after you have actually picked check and be sure that this side does not go 
outwards and this one went inside no the weight of the foot is always here i keep repeating this please pay attention to it it's either they are both on the same side or this tilt downwards a little bit just to be able to sustain the the weight of the foot please pay attention to that so let me try to bring this out so that it will be easy for me to so let me just try and remove the shoe last. Now, exactly. You can see what I have here. This one came out more Why this is inside. Never last your footwear like that. Never last your footwear like that. Although I know there are, there are some cases that are a bit different where the design is like that. But when the design is not like that, please, most times, it should not happen. This should come out more and this should go in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pick this particular one. I will surely pick this one then come here and pick exactly the same point here that is what i'm going to do now you can see what i did so this is going to be here and this is going to be here so as usual place on top and open place on top and open so with this i'm sure you know why we really need something to hold this particular point this particular part down which is the reason there is a stitch this way and then it went and came this way so like i said do I, what like i suggested just hold it down here and also hold it down here and it will definitely stay with our shoe glue so I want to believe you have enjoyed today's tutorial from here. I believe you should be able to complete this. This is just the most critical part of this design. And I think I've been able to solve that puzzle. Now, if you would like to join the February class, probably you're thinking of March, then it's high time you start planning so that you don't miss out on anything. Guess what? See what we, uh, we actually learn how to create this weekend. Just this, uh, this today, Saturday, and then yesterday, Friday. See how cute and how beautiful it is. So I need you to know that I try as much as possible. Like this design, I start from the beginning till the end. So they have such opportunity. And sometimes I just teach them patterns and they go ahead and finish it up themselves. So if you like to always also see somebody, always um, have somebody to ask questions and that is part of what the class is meant for. Thank you once again for joining me today. And I still remain your shoe making made his tutor. See you next time. Bye.